boys and girls, welcome back. I sure hope you enjoyed our story called Press Here, where we played with um, the bubbles and the dots in the book and did all kinds of exciting things with them. And I found a fun craft that I thought that we could do um, that has to do with dots and bubbles and circles too. And we're gonna make a bubble paint art. And um, all I did to do this is I mixed food coloring with bubble mix and we blew bubbles on paper. So it is the simplest craft ever. And it's a lot of fun to do, but it's very messy. So you need to change your clothes into something you don't mind getting stained or dirty. Um, and if you don't have something like that, you might wanna put an apron on or maybe an old t-shirt or an old um, oversized shirt that you could cover your good clothes with. You also wanna make sure that your surface is, is covered because the food coloring will stain. So you need to make sure that you've got paper, newspaper, print, something like that, or go outside and do it on the grass because you're gonna cut the grass and it's gonna get washed up anyways. So that way you don't stain your, your mom's furniture or anything like that. So um, what you're gonna need for this project is of course bubbles. You're going to need a tablespoon. You're going to need food coloring. You only need the primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. You need some small bowls and some um, bubble blowers. And of course, you need um, the paper to put this on. Now, I used um, watercolor paper here um, that I got years ago for my kids um, when we homeschooled them and we did art. But you can also use construction paper. You want to use a thicker paper, though, because the paper is going to get quite wet. And if you use just thin paper, like what comes out of your computer, the paper will get so soggy and saturated, it'll fall apart. So you're going to want to use a thicker paper to do our art. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, let's see, I just dropped my things. Okay, so the first thing you need um, is to make your solutions. And these are pretty simple. You just need to take your bubble mix and you need to pour about a tablespoon. It's really important that you don't have a lot because too much, we found out the first time I did this project, that too much bubble mix um, didn't produce dark colored bubbles. So you wanna have just a little bit of bubble mix um, with your food coloring. We've already got blue and yellow made, so we're gonna make the red here. And we just add a couple drops of red here. Isn't that kind of cool how that looks? And we can kind of swirl it around. Isn't that pretty? And if you want, you can stir it around with your bubble thing. And now here comes the fun part. We're gonna move our food colors and our bubbles out of the way and our book so we don't get that ruined. And we're just going to gently blow some bubbles onto the paper. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so we don't get my cameraman all bubbly. Watch. And as you can see, you get little bubbles and big bubbles. And they make really cool shapes. And you want to blow them all over the paper. Oops, sorry there, cameraman. The more gently you blow, the less splatter you get. But it does make, as you can see, it does make a mess. Okay, so we've got some red bubbles there, so now we can try a different color. Oh, I got some up my nose. Ah. Let's go with blue. Let's see what we can do with the blue colors here. We have a big one. Oh, and it got mostly on the paper, or on the scrap paper. So we'll do another blue here. Ooh, look at that one bounce. Oh, that one was almost perfect. Look at that. And we'll do one more. Oh, I didn't quite get any bubble mix on that. Okay, here we go. There we go. So now I have a couple blue, and now we can do the yellow. And you'll notice I've got it on my hands too, so you want to be careful that you don't stain anything. And we're going to get a little bit of yellow here. I got yellow on there. And you can mix your colors as you go here because yellow and blue will make green and yellow and red will make, does anybody know? Anybody know what does yellow and red make? Purple. 
No. Orange. Orange. Yellow and red makes orange. And what does blue and red make? Purple. Purple. That's right. Blue and red makes purple. I'm, oh, I should have made more yellow, I think. All right. Hang on. I'm not getting very good yellow. I think I need to make a little bit more yellow here because I just can't seem to pick it up off my container. So I made some of these earlier and then it looks like some of it evaporated. So we'll make just a little bit more. And each art that you make is going to be a little bit different from the one before because depending on where the bubbles end up at. So you can make a bunch of these. There we go. That one looks a little bit better. Oop, that one's got kind of drippy. I don't know why. All right, there we go. And last one for yellow. There we go. That's a nice yellow bubble. And so um, we could go on and fill in the empty spaces as we like, or if we like it simple, we can leave it at that. And then the cool thing is when you lift it up off the paper, look, you can see a perfect outline of where our splatter mess went, which is why you want to be really careful about your surrounding areas. This does make a tremendous mess, but it's a lot of fun and it makes a really cool art project when you're all done. So I hope you had fun with this project today. Um, enjoy the beautiful uh, sunshine if you've got sunny weather by you. And if it's a rainy day, then maybe wait and do this project when it's sunny or outside. But have fun playing with the colors and the bubbles and enjoy your day. Bye-bye, everybody.